Hello everyone, and today we're back into some more Illumian Legacy DVP. And today, we are showcasing Very Nimble Luminami. Yes, we've made the Meme Luminami set. So, this is going to be an offensive Luminami, so I got Awakening, Gamma Pulse, Tsunami. I have Tsunami over Maroon because it's an offensive one. Peace of Mind and Rejuvenate the Energy so I can use four Gamma Pulses and a Tsunami. 200 in the range attack, 200 in the speed. This very nimble makes you outspeed Smarta Kazune, which is actually really good. And the rest is put into health, which, hmm, there is a Seer Knight, which I could use it again. Seer Knight? I, I can basically swap it in against Infernix, which is good. I am going to bring Tyrex because there is a Seer Knight and that thing. I'm going to bring my Vesperatu for the Mutagon, Stricicle, and I'll also bring. Let's lead off of Boslin. I might be able to get a good matchup with Boslin. Let's see. Let's see who he leads with. I think it's... Oh, no. He, he got Mutagon lead. That's scary. There's no doubt about that. I could barter the Mutagon, but I don't necessarily want to lose Boslin at the start. Plus, I kind of want my Volcanic Ashes. So, I am actually going to swap into my Vesperatu. I could go into Luminami, but, you know, I think going into Vesperatu is the better play. Mega Punch, gotcha. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the spectral burst. He's probably gonna go into his he's probably gonna go into his Infernix, I assume. Either Infernix or Joltu. Those are the two options. But let's see what he does. Yeah, it's gonna be Infernix or Joltu. Which one? Okay, I did not think it was gonna be the Seer Knight, honestly, but you know what? It's fine. I get to hit the Seer Knight for a pretty Whoa, he's definitely not. He's definitely not ranged. Let's go into Luminami, actually. And let's hope he doesn't click a move called Searing Steel. Flaming Kick, because I want to use my... Okay, that's Fire Slam. Okay, that's going to do nothing. Searing Steel is actually super effective against Luminami because of the Searing Steel. So, yeah. Tsunami, I will outspeed this. <laughs> oh, he swapped. Dang. Wind Tricks hops on in. Tsunami, how much will this do? Oh, it does over half. You love to see it. Gonna go for Gamma Pulse. I okay. I know I'm very nimble Luminami. I understand that I'm very nimble Luminami. But there's no way a very nimble Luminami can outspeed a Wintrix. Wintrix is like 94 base speed. So if I, if I outspeed Infernix then, I will laugh if I outspeed Infernix. That's going to be the thumbnail. Me outspeeding his... Me outspeeding his... Me outspeeding his wind tricks. That is something you do not see every day, friends. I'm going to go for the Gamma Pulse. I did okay damage. Oh, those are crit. That's why. I got a critical hit. We're going to go into our Vesperatu. Vesperatu can hop on in. The thing that's good about Range Esperatio is I'm definitely one-shot Mutagon, Dark Surge. So I am actually going to click... Actually, I'm going to click Airblade, predicting the Infernix hopping in. I really like using Range Esperatio. Range Esperatio is really fun to use. He actually just stayed in, which I'm kind of shocked about. Go for Frost Punch. No big deal. I'm just clicking Airblade in case he goes into his Infernix. He might want to save Mutagon for later. Nope, he went into Dorgo instead. Which, how much does it do to Dorgo? How much? I did a little bit. I did a little bit to Dorgo. I can go... I have no swap-ins for Dorgo. Hmm, I have no swap-ins. I have an idea then. Let's go into Stricicle. And then we baffle into our Illuminami. That's what we'll do. Primal Slash. Okay, I kind of went into, actually. Got a critical hit, but no big deal. Baffle out. He's going to 100% click Slap Down. Or he clicks Chop. Okay. Baffle out. Oh, no, it's been Rose! Uh, oops! Okay, he's not Secret Ability then. <laughs> oops! Accidentally gave him a speed boost. That was definitely not intended. That was definitely not intended. He missed Chop. You'll love to see it. Well... Is Dorgo is now out of the picture. I critted it. Oh my gosh. That is completely overkill there, Mr. Buzzlin. 
that was a hundred percent overkill there, basically. His Infernix is probably gonna swap in. Here it is. Gonna go into our Luminami. That is basically our only swap in for the Infernix actually is Luminami. So I gotta be kinda careful with it. See what he does, goes for fire up. Is he pyro? He is definitely pyro. But I tanked it. Well, I'm gonna go for a rest because Infernix can't do anything to me. Even if he pieces mine, peace of mind, I can click peace of mind back. If he goes into Mutagon, I, I just go back to Vesperatu, so no big deal. Yep, I just I basically just go back into Vesperatu. I go for a rest, back to full energy. You go into Vesperatu. Actually, do we go Vesperatu? Yeah, we have to. We, we have to go Vesperatu. This need to go on, otherwise, is kind of a problem. I could click, I could have clicked Tsunami, honestly, but you know, I think this is more reliable. He actually just doubled. Did he predict? I, oh, nice predict there. I gotta give that one to you. Nice predict. Nice predict there. Although I, I outspeed you, so I think I can just take out your Seer Knight, so that's good. I can just take out your Seer Knight, so that's good. Seer Knight's now dead. If he goes Infernix, he left the game. So let's head into the second battle now with my very nimble Lumina. We're into the second battle, and I just cannot get over the fact that my Luminami outspeed, outsped that last guy's Wintrix. He must have been sluggish Wintrix, and I must have been very nimble. So yeah. I guess it makes sense for that extent, but still. There is actually a Vesperatu, which is a little bit scary. Zulong, I have this thing for, so that's no big deal. Hmm, Samarine! That ain't good. Samarine is scary. I gotta bring this thing for it. Also, this thing for the Harvestex, too. Although, I can use this against Harvestex. There's another Infernix, which is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Snagoop is scary. I'm looking to see if I could baffle out of any of these. And even though there's a lot of fast Lumians, Stricicle is pretty weak to a lot of them. I think we lead Luminami. No, I want to lead Buzzlin. Buzzlin, I think, is better. Because if you leave off with the Vesperatu, if you leave off with the Vesperatu, that's the second Snagoop lead in a row. Well, I got to go into Tyrex. Although he could be, he could be Barter. He could be Barter. He could be barter, that's the thing. And I just I think it's I don't want to get bartered on any of my Lumions. I'm going best for all two. I'm not getting bartered. I am not getting bartered on my Tyrex. I am not allowing it. Not allowing it. Okay, he just placed poison bars. It's a bad actually. I do not have a poison type. That's very bad actually. Jetstream. And that does over half. Oh no, I need you for Tata too. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh uh, yikes. Yikes then. <laughs> Big yikes. Mega yikes. Well, I think I'm forced to go into Tyrex then. Oh this is not good. I think we might lose this battle. This one does not look so hot. Terrifying a range attacker. Yay. Yeah, he doesn't do that much, but I'm poisoned, which is pretty tough. I'm gonna go for the skill crusher though. Hopefully I don't miss. This thing would really suck right now. He just goes for the muck blast, try to do some damage. Yeah, he's trying to chip my Tyrex, so he could get his Zulong in. That means I feel like he definitely brought Zulong, because he's just trying to chip my Tyrex. There's no, uh, there would have been no other reason to save his Snagoop otherwise. There would have been no other reason to save his Snagoop otherwise. Because he has Harvest that. Okay, we go into... That's a good time to go into Luminami, actually. That is actually a great time to go into Luminami. Actually, I got a better idea. I don't need my Volcanic Ashes. I do not need them. Since I'm poisoned already, I do not need the Volcanic Ashes. I could just give them to something. Earthquake. Okay, he is Earthquake. I could just give it to the Harvestek and it makes the Harvestek useless for the rest of the battle, honestly. Let's do that. Or I hit the Zulong. Okay, now your Harvestek is officially useless. 
for this battle. And now I'm heavy armor. You love to see it. But now you're burnt. You're burnt, Mr. Harvaset. So yeah, now you do less damage. So yeah, you love it. I'll go for the nose die. Let's see how much this does. He has a plus one. Oh, it does some nice damage. Some nice beefy damage, and I love it. Soul Storm. I live, but I do lose Buzzlin. I do lose the Buzzlin though. That is unfortunate. We're gonna go into our. We're gonna go into Luminami here because we do outspeed. Although I am gonna click Tsunami actually. That predicts the toss up. Okay, nope, he stayed in. At least I took it out. You saw my mindset there. He did have a top up, and I needed to predict it. Let's see what else he has. Does he have it? He does have the long. Oh. Oh, he does have it. That isn't good. He has Zulong. Well, we're going into Tyrex then. I'm poisoned though, so it's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough. There's not many more swap it. I cannot swap in many times with this thing, because that poison does more than the health amulet. The Ancient Roared out, too. If his last one is Tautob... This could be bad. This could be bad if his last one's Tautob. Because my Vesperatu's poisoned. It's Tautob, isn't it? Oh, Vesperatu's scary, too. Oh, yeah, Vesperatu... Oh, yeah, because I lost Muslin. Oh, I lost that. <laughs> I basically lost. I can't lose... I can't lose Tyrex. That's the thing. I cannot lose Tyrex. I cannot lose Tyrex. I don't have... I have... I have Tundralins. We're fine. We have Tundralins. We're gonna be poisoned. In lose metallic pearl, but oh yeah, we're poisoned. We're poisoned though, so yikes, we're poisoned. Though, then again, is that the worst thing in the world? Because if I click rejuvenate, I will be back to full health. He's gonna go zoo long, isn't he? Oh, he hasn't burn it. No, he hasn't. Actually, this is perfect. This is perfect, actually. And the reason why this is perfect, Luminami, his last three is Infernix, Luminami, Infernix, Zulong, and Vesperatu. So what that means is, he hits one of these three super effectively. He hits one of these three Lumion super effectively. Which is perfect. He hits one of these three. Which one will it be, though? Which one is the most valuable in a team? His most valuable one is Zulong. Honestly, he should just sack Infernix. That's what I would do here. Although, then again, no, that's the only thing for the Tundralin. Who will we sack here? Out of these, who will we? He'll sack that. That's smart. Oh, gosh, that's smart. That is smart as heck. But Fratu's now dead. That was perfect. That was the perfect time to get Luminami in. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it back in, though. I I can't for the Infernix, so yeah, I could save it. I could save this, although the Zulong is becoming more and more problematic. I don't need the best Rocky, actually. Yeah, I don't need the best Rocky then. I don't have to use it. I can just do this. Go into this thing. I might be able to live under Stray. Oh, he did predict. Yeah, that's scary. He did predict. Yeah, that's iffy. Iffy. That's iffy. Tyrex, I need you. <laughs> I need you more than ever, my friend. Go for Earthquake. Let's see what he does. Okay. That, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Tyrex. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That will take out the Zulong. And now Luminami can beat his Infernus. Perfect. That was perfect. Let's see if I can get the chip. I don't think I can get chip, though, on this Infernus. So Infernus is going to kind of... I do got to rejuvenate. I do got to rejuvenate. Although this Infernus does not do that much damage. Feed piece of mine. Nope, he just goes for Fire Breath. He does go for Fire Breath. Gets rid of the Tyrex. Does get rid of the Tyrex. 
I go into Tundralin here. Basically get rid of the Tundralin because it's kind of something I have to do. Basically just here saying, here, take the Tundralin. And now it's going to be down to if my Luminami can win me the game. That's basically what it's down to. Can Luminami win me the game from here? You are. And I think I'm just going to go for two attacks. Let's do it. Can I two-shot him? Oh, he has a peace of mind? Oh my god, he actually has a peace of mind. He might actually win with that. He might actually. That's scary. Oh no, I two-shot him. I two-shot him. We're good. I think we two-shot him. It's going to be all done to this hit. He's definitely not going to wreck. He's going to wait. There's no doubt about it, he's waiting. Can Luminami Clutch here? I need you. Please. Yes! Very nimble, Luminami. Let's go. Let's head on to the third battle. All right, we're into the third battle now with our Luminami. And let's see what he has. He has a Himber. He has a Himber. And he has a Wrestling. I like that. I like this matchup. Swolder is scary because I don't have Frostbeam. But, oh, yeah, Swolder. I got to bring this thing for the Swolder, basically. Eliguana's bad. Eliguana's pretty bad. I don't like that. Revenine as well, considering everything dies to it. Yeah, everything dies to Revenine. Other than Luminami, everything dies to... Uh, although, this is Dark Surge, I die to it as well. So, yeah, this is not good. Revenine beats my whole team. Are you ready for a Lumin... Are you ready for a Revenine sweep? Because I sure am. Let's bring this thing. Let's bring this thing, actually. And get a terrifying on something. Yeah, let's do that, I think. That's what I'll do. Who does he lead? Lead Timber. Good. That's good. That's good stuff. That is some good stuff there. He's now at minus one. And that basically gives me a free swap into my own Luminami. Let's do that. Here he is. I think he's just going to place trap. Oh, he actually just swapped into Garlash. I do not like that. I really do not like that. I really do not like that, actually. He's going to click Mega Chomp. So, let's go into Bugglin. And let's try to do something here. Unless he's Barter Lash. He could be. He could be the Barter Lash. He's not. Unless he is, but he just attacked. Jeez. <laughs> you hit very hard, Garlash. You hit very hard. I do not think he's going to stay in. I don't think he's going to stay in, guys. He's going to go into a timber. He actually stayed in. I could have just KO'd it. What am I... I could have just KO'd it. I could have just KO'd the Garlash. Are you kidding? I'm so upset myself. Like... Unbelievable. I could have just KO'd the Garlash. Instead... He stayed in. That really sucked. I I feel defeated after that. I feel utterly defeated by that. Spectral Burst. He doesn't do that much. Okay, so he's definitely not the that one move. And there you go. Yeah, I definitely take him out in two hits. So that's fine. At least I can get rid of it, but still... That doesn't give me good... Oh, he does have Primal. Why didn't he do that last time? Although, the Barter does help, but hey, not really. <laughs> not really. I could have just took it out and then bartered the Himber. I just I just thought he was going to swap out, honestly. See what he does here. If he goes into Himber, I go Luminami. I go Luminami if he goes Himber. Let's see, though. Well, I basically just gotta throw away. I basically just gotta throw you away. Darn it! Don't be very nimble. Don't be very nimble. Be nimble. Oh, it's very nimble. That's unfortunate. Revenine now sweeps me. Unless he doesn't have Dark Surge, I die. <laughs> That's basically what this is. If, unless he doesn't have Dark Surge, I die. So, yeah... <laughs> uff moment there. A very uff moment. 
Please just play Dark Surge. Nope, he's gonna, he's gonna play it safe and save it. Swolder comes in. How much does this do to Swolder? Oh! That gets nice damage. Go into the Tricycle. Tricycle hops on in. See what he does. Bankle Bash. Ouch. The Solid Mouth. I do not think he's gonna stay in. But then again, I did that last time. I did that last time, though. I am gonna baffle. I made the right play. Who did he go into? Revenine? Oh, Iguana. Actually, that is... That's fine. That is perfectly fine, actually. I can go into my... I have an idea, actually. I know, Ghostly Howl goes through Scapegoat. Ghostly Howl does go through Scapegoat. It does go through Scapegoat. I will put up a scapegoat, though, anyway. I will put up a scapegoat. He does swap. Timber? Made the right play. Timber hops on in. Puts the scapegoat up. I like that. Let's see if two Steel Crushers can take it out. If not, I can go Luminami. Or Strikesicle. I can go into one of the two. Steel Crusher, don't miss. Okay, I don't two-shot it, so I have to swap, basically. Go for the Earthquake. Ouch. Scapegoat has now been broken. I get a little health back. Oh, he's health emulate Himber, too. So he is actually the health emulate Himber. Are you tender? Uh, yeah, I made it tender, so it's range defense was higher. So yeah, Himber would actually hit me pretty solidly hard. If he clicks Earthquake, I'm going into Stricicle. So let's do that, I think. Yep, Earthquake caught him. Caught him in the trap. I'm going to click Baffle again. I'm going to click Baffle again. Yeah, Baffle. Yep, he does play Psychicle Traps, but that doesn't really help him that much. So, yeah, that doesn't really help him that much. I did not know, I did not know why he plays Traps. I have two things that resist it. So... Maybe he, maybe he thought I didn't resist any. Maybe he, but no, I brought Buzzlin, so I, I don't know why he placed traps there. I, what do I do? That Revenine is so freaking scary. I am going to click Tsunami. He does swap. Swolder again? Swolder hops on in? I can't get out from here, though, so I'm fine with that. Gonna go for another, so... I'll go for a Gamma Pulse, actually. So I have 90 energy. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of the Swolder. Unfortunately, though... Revenine comes in! <laughs> basically, Revenine comes in! <laughs> That's basically what this is all about. Although, I'm yeah, he, he's definitely Dark Surge then. He is 100% Dark Surge then. Yeah, that sucks. He's basically using Revenine to win. Is he Dark Surge? Yeah, I, I lost. <laughs> I lost. Unless I... My Stricicle live one? Nice, I live one. Good job. Good job, Stricicle. That might... That could be enough for the energy usage, honestly. That could be enough. Considering the energy usage. Let's go for a Frost Beam? Yes, let's do that. Let's go for Frost Beam. Ghostly Howl. Do I live? No, I don't live. That's unfortunate. Luminami, hop on. Yeah, I have to go in Luminami here. I have to. And then I just gotta hope I live Dark Surge, because, yeah, I kinda have nothing else I could do. Let's go for Tsunami. Darn. Timber. Eliguana. Hit the Eliguana at least. That's good. That's good stuff. I like that. I do like that. But now my Luminami's out of energy. That isn't good. Which, that is not good. I basically got a place to scapegoat now. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna beat this team. It's gonna be rather tough. Oh, he predicted. No, he predicted. Actually... Is that bad? Is that bad? I don't think that's bad, actually. 
I just go back into Luminami, and then I click Graph. And then I click Graph, although he, he just goes to Reva 9, basically. He basically just goes to Reva 9. He clicks Earthquake, but again, does that help? Oh, no, no, oh, no, I, I, I just, I just lose now. No, I think I just lost. I'm going to go for the Rast and hope he doesn't have enough for an Earthquake. Basically, Rev, I'm, sh I'm shocked he did not go to the Revenine there. Yeah, he is close to another Earthquake. So, that's unfortunate. I basically got to click Steel Crusher twice. That's basically what I got to do. Click Steel Crusher twice. That's basically how I can win this. Put Steel Crusher twice and hope that Revenine is not Vengeance, but it probably is. So, yeah. Steel Crusher. I, okay, he did rest. So, oh, also, if I miss any of my moves, it's game over, too. Oh! I can click Earthquake. I can click Earthquake. I don't have, I don't, I don't have to risk me not missing. I can actually just click Earthquake. Okay. I really want to place a scapegoat bad, but I'm not. I'm not. Oh no, he just used quick punch. No. I should have placed a scapegoat. I would have been a great time to place one. I should have placed scapegoat. If I placed scapegoat there, I would have had a shot probably. Well, you never know. Oh, okay, now I have a nine one. Unless he's sack of iguana. Please just sack of iguana. Sack of iguana, please. Sack of iguana. You don't need Revenine. You don't need him. No, nope. he brought him. He brought him. He brought him. It's over. GG. Unless you're not Vengeance and I somehow live, it's over. It's over. Bye, Tyrex. Bye. Critical hit as well. GG. It's always Revenine. It always. It, it's always Revenine. It always is Revenine. I, I don't know why. It's always that Revenine that always knocks me down. Be fair, this team is rather weak to it, but still. Hope you guys enjoyed me using very nimble Luminami. I certainly have. It actually did very solid today. It does lose a lot of bulk, but. But Earthquake. Were you vengeance? Were you vengeance? Let me see, was he vengeance? If he was vengeance, I would have lost anyway. Yep. GG. So, yep. So, L very nimble Luminami did very good today. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye.